All right, so I wanted to just mention my son. Uh, he bought a uh, 2023 Honda XR150R, and uh, he had it 24 hours. He crashed the bike, bent the forks, bent the front wheel. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see that, but here's the front wheel assembly right here. Um, put himself in the hospital. Uh, he new rider of a street bike. He went into a country road with a bend and he overshot the bend to the right, went through a front yard, had a drainage ditch, uh, ended up down in the ditch head first. That's what impacted the front forks. He like jumped. It was about a six foot deep, 10 foot wide. He kind of airborne off, nosedived into that. Ended up putting himself into a hospital in Pittsburgh. So we're rebuilding the bike. Uh, the headlight was destroyed. The dash, like the gauges, all that was destroyed. So it, the bike's going to end up with a Trailtech Vapor system on the bars. It's going to have an LED headlight system. Um, LED, uh, what do they call it, flowing uh, turn signals front and rear is going to happen. Uh, I got new, all new uh, fork parts from Honda that I had pro action in Pennsylvania, rebuild the forks. Uh, I got a new complete wheel assembly from Honda. Um, everything's going to be rebuilt on the bike and upgraded to new technology. It's going to bring the 2023 Honda XR150L up to a more modern digital display system, all that. Um, so I'll do a little bit of an update after we get the bike all totally rebuilt and done. Uh, should be about three weeks waiting for parts and all the logistics to come together. Uh, once all that happens, I'll get the bike together and I'll show you all what's going on. But this is probably going to end up being one of the most modified 2023 Honda XR150Ls in the United States at this time because we're we're going to have, you know, we're going to throw all the tech at it, everything at it that we can, and make the bike what Honda probably should have made it for a 2023 new release into the United States. So I wanted to just give you a little bit of a picture of what we got the bike only has about 120 miles on it right now um i'll show you what it's like and we'll we'll speak to it later all right we'll talk to you again guys